Hi, my name's Wes, and we are at the 50th Van Nationals. This is a 1988 Dodge B250 with a 318 engine and a 46 RH transmission. I first saw this van, it was in a parking lot in my local town, and I thought, man, we gotta pull over and leave a note on this van. And just as we pulled up and was going to leave a note, we saw the gentleman walking towards it. And uh, I went, you know, walking up to talk to him. I said, hi, my name's Wes, and uh, I really like your van. He says, I don't like my van, I hate vans. And I said, well, uh, we're actually a local club here, and maybe you'd like to come hang out. I don't want to come hang out. I don't want nothing to do with vans. I'm like, well, I'll tell you what. Just take my name and number, and give me a call if you ever want to sell it. I'll never sell it. I'll never sell it. And we, saw, we separated ways. So here it was. Uh, you know, I'm at home on my sofa and I'm like, I got like 6,000 karma points. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that'll help you if you broke down. I help an old lady cross the street carrying groceries while like walking the neighbor's dog carrying flowers for my wife and stuff. Like I do anything for people, okay? And here it is, my phone rings. And the guy says, you said if I ever wanted to sell my van to give you a call, I'm giving you a call. And I said, you must be the family wagon edition. And he says, I am. So I said, how much? And he started throwing a number at me and I said, I like your numbers, let me check it out. So uh, we, we ended up getting the van, the long story short, we got it home. Uh, the first thing we did, we came in, started pulling out like seats or carpet. The downfall of stuff in the desert is even though the, the metal is perfect, never rusts, the interior will eventually get crumbly. You push on it and it rips. That's just desert, you know, how it goes. So we kept the headliner as original as could be. Uh, we relatively never touched it. It has the family wagon logo and the established 1962. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to the inside. Uh, in here, we got the Galaxy 66, uh, partly because I'm Route 66 banners. So I want to match, you know, the club a little bit. Uh, if you ever experiment doing this, the radio doesn't really fit without modifying the back a little bit. But luckily, it, the Family Wagon Edition already came with most of your music and stuff up here. It, ha it came with this alarm clock, and it actually beeps from here. It doesn't run to a speaker somewhere else. It's like, set your alarm, ee, 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 ee. You know, you're waking up. It all comes right from here. Of course, it has the old booster, which kids don't even know what that is with the equalizer. Mm -hmm. And over here, the old two-knobber radio. Moving down through here, we well, have our fog lights, which we already seen on the front, the KCs. Mm -hmm. So our switch for fog lights. Over here is our AC and disco ball. So Dodge has, when you press this button, it auto comes on AC, and then you have to push pull to get it to go to vent. So to stop that, I do vent all the time and I turn on my pump here. That way it's easier and quote auto. Of course, disco ball. We have power windows, power locks, power brakes, power steering, tilt, and AC. I think this has almost every option available. Also in this, uh, this diamond tuck through here through the doghouse, this is one I just made with extra material I had this pocket here was actually the headrest, which goes up, you know, on your headrest for a car seat. Mm -hmm. But this came with a set, and my wife used the bottom and left this laying around. And I thought, someday I might use that as a pocket. And lo and behold, boom, it's in my van. Perfect. Yeah. We got shag, of course, across the top. Uh, you may have to be on the outside to see, but I have a lot of the favorite events are up here on the front of the windshield. At a lot of shows, you come across the front, you can see a lot of my latest or favorite events, including this one, well, all of them. Okay, so yeah. So we, we have our several events out here from the Arizona Van Fools annual meet. We have the Dazed and Confused, which is another favorite, uh, awesome, awesome. BYOB, which is another excellent event. Vanning Mayhem, and over here, Slow Ride, and these are really, really good events, folks. Uh, if you like vanning at all, you definitely got to get out and get to some of these. And of course, don't forget the Nationals. Now, when we, we got to the back of this van, we, we were going under the bench seat, and lo and behold, this gentleman had the original three tables. He had the uh, triangle, 
he had the hexagon and the octagon and they all match with the cup holder mm. and he had all three of them under the seat the entire time must have been 30 40 years mm. yes yes sir now of course with a bigger family we got to save a couple of bucks so we came time to do our interior our walls and door panels and we are online places like ebay and fabric shops are 28 32 dollars a yard so I told you know my wife, I'm like, look, you know, we'll probably never get that. That's just too much. So here it was, we were over at the Family Dollar just getting some things, and I looked over, and they had this material. And when you go like that, you know, it goes opposite, and you go like that. And I was like, you know what? This would be the perfect panel material. And this is, uh, I think, like a bed sheet, queen size. And guess what? Two queen size did the entire van. So, for, yeah, two queen side did the entire van, and now we're not buying forever yards of material. And, and I'm thinking, you know, just quickly, I know we're on film here, I don't want to kill film, but 16 yards is like over $300. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's no way, yeah, we did the whole interior in like $22. Okay, some bubble windows I got at a, at a junkyard, these were $11 a bubble. Oh. I know some of you guys are hating me at home right now, but that was the score of a lifetime. I went up to the register. I told the guy at the register, I said, hey, uh, how much for these? They're not even glass. They're like plastic. And the guy looks at him and says, $11 each. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I was out of there. He was running. Okay, uh, yeah, it's coming around the back. So here we have uh, the Family Wagon Edition. That's a fiberglass stamp in it. But I thought, I really need to do something with that. I'm gonna turn that over to my daughter. So I turned it over to her and I told her, you can paint whatever you want, use whatever colors you want, just make it kind of cool. So she ran away with it and that's what she did. And now of course, I'll just throw this in kind of quick, you know, years later, she's a teenager now and she's kind of like a, that's not very cool, I could have done better. But when she was, you know, when she's young, it looks great, so. Oh, so, okay, I go up in the back, show you guys the back. Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, as a matter of fact, we have a little surprise for JJ Lightning. Oh. There may be a, uh, a, a cut in this film pretty soon. But anyway, uh, so my family wanted to do a little something from our family to yours. You're always doing vanning stuff. You're always helping vanners, doing van videos. You're van, van, van all the time. So I thought, what can we do for him that would be totally cool and surprise him? So I said, you know what? Let's do a JJ Lightning official. I hope I didn't steal the trademark. I said the official JJ Lightning drone landing pad on our roof. And you're more than welcome to use it anytime you want. You don't worry about scratching or crashing. We don't even care. Land on it, take off from it. I expect you to use it. But uh, if, yeah, if you'd want to climb on up and check it out, you're more than welcome. Use it, land on it. Uh, that's what it's there for. Okay, so I expect you to use it. Um, it's, that's what it's there for. Now, I know they're doing like a huge 50th Band Nationals from above. They're doing uh, show and shine or just general. I could, I'm parked anywhere. Feel free to use my van, you know, land on her, take on off, and it's there for you. And I'll tell you what, we even brought an extra one that you can have. So you can put it in with a trophy collection, you can just put it in your room, stick a pin on it to the wall, or you can put it on your van, you're more than welcome. We're putting it on lightning. There you go. Yes, sir, you're, you're more than welcome to use it and right. land on me, take off, whatever. Okay. From our house to yours. Back here, we'll get the doors open. Uh, once again, the same material. Mm -hmm. Over here, I have some leftover shag from another project. And of course, you're thinking, what do you throw in here? You can do, you know, cans of oil, a little water squirter to clean rims or windshield or what have you. Mm -hmm. It's also a little storage uh, as well. So it's nice to have that little kind of pocket there to put stuff in. Over here, coming through the interior, you know, wife and kids, you want extra chargers. So they said, I think they called it a power port, kids these days. Mm -hmm. We called them cigarette lighters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I figured, you know what, I'll put one of those in the back, I'll put one in the middle, and then one in the front. That way kids, family, or anybody anywhere can plug stuff in, mm -hmm. get charged up, and, and, you know, run their phones, run their electric stuff. Excellent. Yep, through the back here is a favorite cooler. So this cooler, 
uh, I ended up, I live in the desert of course, so here it is, I saw this cooler at, at a flea market and they had six dollars on it. And I, at first I didn't even know what it was. I was like, six dollars? <laughs> and I came over and I opened it and it's metal. Oh wow. And I'm like, yeah, wow, yeah, galvanized metal. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, for five bucks, this will be my favorite cooler. So of course I added, you know, little stuff here and there for it for openers and whatnot. But beyond the best cooler planet Earth can produce, I would say it would beat any newer cooler by a mile. Mm. So in some cases, maybe the older is better. Out through here is your bottle cap opener. Mm -hmm. This was uh, actually given to me by some of the guys over in Arizona Van Fools. So they're a pretty awesome club. We're the Route 66 banners. So they said, you know what? We saw this. We got to get that over to Wes. Yeah, that's perfect for you guys. So, so yeah, it's yeah. perfect for our club. And you got the drapes here. Yep, these drapes, uh, other than the headliner, these were an original drapes that came with it. They've been, wow. of course, sun beat oh, yeah. uh, from years in the desert. Mm -hmm. uh, this was about the only brown. Maybe there was a couple little things through the van that were brown, mm -hmm. but for some reason, the uh, family wagon company back then didn't do a lot of it to match with. And you can see that over here too, the Family Wagon Edition uh, Compact Equipment Company. Uh, they were out of Erlendale, California, and uh, from what I could find on the internet, is a pretty tough heart, you know, to dig, by the way, because this company wasn't around forever, mm -hmm. but I think they closed the doors around 91 or 93, making less than 2,500 of these. Wow. And for those of you at home that are watching, and perhaps you don't see this every day, the 88 with an eight door. Now, what do you think about that? All right, we're moving around to the front. Once again, this is a little bit of a, a budget build when you have bigger family and whatnot. So here was, we got the van. There was no front kit on this thing at all. And I thought, let me just see how much they are. Look around for one. They're, they give a nice, tough look, you know? So here it is, I'm online. I'm finding them for 600, maybe 700 plus shipping. And there, there's just no way I could ever afford that. So uh, I went to our local shop in town, it's called Jones Fabric, and you can get foam, big sheets of foam, and you can make any shape you want. So I ended up taking foam, and I made my shape, and I took aluminum foil, because if, uh, if you take fiberglass to aluminum foil, you just shrink, uh, you just messed it up. So I take the foam, I put aluminum foil on it, and then you can wrap it with your fiberglass, and this got about four to six layers, and you basically make it yourself. You do your six layers of fiberglass and you do a thin layer of your Bondo and then you sand and voila, maybe $120 total and I made my whole, my whole kit. So here it is, I just made my own, you know, the whole, uh, the whole flare kit and I decided, you know, most of these, especially 80s, they all have the same stamp where they have the fog lights. So I thought, I'm making my own, I'm doing no fog lights. So I did no uh, fog lights across the front. Now, I was talking with my wife and Selma, and I said, you know what, I'm doing round bubble windows, I want round lights. This van originally came with the five by eight square lights. This is an 88, it had the one square headlight that sets about here. And I thought, you know what, I gotta get round in there. So we were cruising around the town, and I found this old van, it had damage in the back, and I asked the guy, hey, you wanna sell this van, how much? And he says, 200 bucks. So for 200 bucks, I got a parts van, this whole front piece was here and good, so I ended up cutting out the metal, it doesn't interchange, you can't go square to circle easily, you're, you're gonna have to move metal. But anyway, I ended up doing that, cut it in, and boom, I got my round headlights, I got the grill I want, and I came in, these are uh, old headlights from the 1990s, uh, or the old uh, fog lights. Mm -hmm. I brought those in KC, real glass, and I turn them on at night and they're nearly perfect. They even match in color at night. So mega cool, and that completed my front end. Now, for vanners that are at home, <laughs> for vanners that are at home, and let's say you just got a van, maybe you're thinking about getting a van. 
your van's in primer even. Okay, don't think these vans come out here looking like this forever. Every van out here at this Nationals has started in primer or Bondo or something at one time or another. That's how the sport is. You, you come out, you enjoy it. Was this in primer? Heck yeah, this was in primer. You know, me and my kids did a cut and paste on it. You know, have a little fun, get your kids involved. Have them help grind and sand on it and tape off. Matter of fact, wherever my middle kid is, I was over here starting to unpeel it and I'm just yanking the tape off, unpeeling it and I hear him say, hey, if you, if you do this, uh, we can reuse the tape and the paper. Oh, I stopped what I was doing. I came around and he said, look, we can just untape it and move it up and re-stick it and paint the next color. And I thought, man, that's genius. And as you could tell, saving from interior, saving doing your, your own stuff, and now I get even saved tape and paper. So anyway, long story short, if your van's under construction, uh, you just come on out. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look perfect. They're in all stages out here. There's vans in primer, there's vans midway, and vans finished. They're not built in a day. This van, you know, you save up, you do body work and paint. You save up, you get rims. You save up again, do interior. So yes, they take time, but when they're finished, they're mega awesome, and maybe you too can be in a JJ Lightning video. And, and once again, brother, thank you for all the camera work and everything. And of course, use our helicopter drone landing pad whenever you want, as much as you want. And thank you for watching, everybody. Hit the like button.